because the journey to self-appreciation is so personal, what I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to tell you how to find it. Instead, let's back up a little bit and understand why we don't appreciate ourselves first. Number one, when we were little, you were probably told, now don't let your head get too big, now don't brag, and all these things that actually suppressed our feeling of self-worth. We felt it was bad to feel appreciate ourselves, to feel like that we were good or did something good. We, f we felt bad for feeling good. So what it did was it conditioned our brains and our minds and our psyche to almost shun appreciation. For example, when someone comes to you and says, you know what, you did a really great job or you were awesome today, do you go, yes, I am awesome? Or do you say, oh, no, I'm not that great, but thanks. Probably we try to push away the appreciation because we're not comfortable with receiving that. So that's a little bit of that conditioning from childhood. Then also in childhood, we start doing something else and it's called comparison. We start comparing ourselves to other little boys and girls. Oh, look at what Johnny has that. Or little Susie's got that real, those really cool shoes that light up. I want those too. So comparison then starts from a place of want. We see something someone else has and we think, that's so cool, I want it too. So later on in life, marketing targets that gap. That feeling that, well, we don't have everything that we think is necessary to feel right or successful or pretty or appreciated or accepted or whatever. And those marketing ads and that social media or all those inputs tell us that, well, if you dressed a certain way or if you drove a certain car, if you lived in a certain house or if you made a certain amount of money, you would be better. You would be a better person. You would attract more people. You would be likable. You would be pretty. And it's all a load of you know what. And by the time we are of a certain age, all we think about is the things that we don't have. We're not focused on what we do have. Every night before I go to bed, I think about everything that I'm grateful for, everything that happened good in my life that day. So I can appreciate what I have right now instead of thinking about what I don't have. What I want for you during this journey is to understand why we are where we are because it's very difficult to develop on something that is unknown. So let's understand why is it that we don't appreciate ourselves? Is it childhood conditioning? Is it because we compare ourselves to others? Is it because we don't feel like we have enough or we're good enough? In reality, you are enough. I'll give you an example. This is what we do. If a friend comes to you and says, oh my gosh, I just failed at something and it was, you know, I'm really upset about it, do we, A, say to that friend, you know what, it's just this one instance, it's not that big of a deal, you learn through failure, you're a great person, or do we, B, say, yeah, you know, I don't know why you even bothered to try because you're not good at that anyway and so you should just give up. What do we say to that? What do we say to our friend? Probably A. What do we say to ourselves? B. We're very hard on ourselves. We don't give ourselves appreciation. So here's my first step for you. Try being your own best friend. <laughs>